Okay, this is uh, a prop I've been working on for Christmas that is, uh, we'll see how well it works. Uh, we were sort of unofficially calling it the Tower of Power. It'll be uh, completely uh, human run. And uh, just to give people sort of a feeling of what, uh, what it takes to create some electricity. Uh, a lot of the stuff I used for this, I reused things I had around uh, two by fours and uh, a lot of the other stuff um, I wanted to try to recycle as much as I could Basically you have a crank That you're gonna turn here That's gonna drive This basically a, a generator or uh, some people call them a dynamo. Um, I have this on here so that the the um, Two rods don't have to be exactly right and if somebody were to push inward um, it wouldn't damage this. So this is sort of the same concept as what you would see um, inside one of the uh, powered windmills where the wind turns um, the crank and it, it creates electricity which they store or convert to the power lines. Um, essentially it's just like a DC motor. Um, DC motor you supply uh, a voltage and it causes uh, it to spin. Here, we're doing the opposite. We're spinning it, it'll cause a voltage on the other side. So what ends up happening is you spin it, it creates a voltage. It's a little bit out of order, but it was for space purposes. Um, here's a bridge rectifier. What that does is it forces, whether or not you're creating a negative or a positive voltage, if you will, it'll always come out looking positive. And then I, I do two things. Uh, one is I, have a boost buck to create 15 volts and another one is a 5 volt regulator and I do this so I can run this LM 3914 part which uh, is pretty popular back in the day it was used for uh, LEDs lighting up for volume um, on the old stereos and stuff so the more volume there was which essentially is the more uh, voltage it would light up more LEDs so what I'm doing is I'm reading off the power that's getting fed to it and it's lighting up more and more. These are just FETs here to turn on the lights. The lights are pretty straightforward. Um, you can see inside here there are little uh, two and a half watt bulbs I believe. So I am powering them on 15 volts. You turn the crank. I wanted it pretty easy for any kid to get the bottom lit. Turn it harder, you can get two, three, and if I crank it as hard as I can, I can get the top one to light. Um, I'm not going to be able to do it while holding the phone in one hand, uh, but I'll, I'll do another video where it's all uh, closed up and you can see it all working. So that's it for now.